Good morning, day two. All right, we're starting this day off with the trailer issue. If you recall the trailer yesterday, blew a hub. So, long story short, this morning we're up bright and early. First thing, we're gonna take this trailer over to my buddy Bill's buddy, one of his welders, and he's gonna see if he can get the parts for this trailer and fix it up for us today. And if this can happen, super huge, save me a ton of time, uh, you know, having to leave this boat here for the week or 10 days and dry dock it, and what a lifesaver it would be. But we're trying, and you know, Bob's trying, and hey, wish us luck because this, man, this will save the whole trip, literally save my whole trip. So that's what we're doing this morning. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I dropped just, we just dropped the trailer off and we're going to head to the water. The boat's in the water already, as you saw from yesterday. We left it overnight. We're going to get some fishing in until Bob can work on this thing and we get an idea of what's going to happen with the trailer. So as of right now, I have no idea. He seems very optimistic that this trailer is going to get fixed and he'll have it no problem. It's amazing what people can do all these different professions out there and it's just amazing if this thing gets fixed in my mind so we're gonna go fishing really quick see what we can catch and we'll check back with you fish game we have another day of fishing and this is the weather bad waves bad bad waves there's okay. nothing on the sonar. Chase okay. cam. Still. Chase cam. 0229. Captain Ball. Yeah, two of them. Two of them. Look at me. It's hot. It's African hot out here. It's so hot, I cook eggs on the hood of my car. Man, it's hot. All right, we just got to call. The truck, the trailer is ready. My bu Our friend Bob, our new friend Bob, and I say new friend because I didn't, I still haven't met Bob. Talked with him on the phone last night. Cousin Bill hooked us up with Bob, who works it with Bill. Bob works with Bill. Bob hooked us up with getting this trailer welded. He went and got the parts for me and everything. This is why you talk to everybody, meet everybody, and be genuine and sincere. It's not what I want to get out of people. Because you guys know, you've seen me give plenty to people are these kids right out here by the marina right now this the owner was just talking i was talking to the owner of the marina he's like oh we want to get these kids fishing i said when we come back out get them on the boat with us we'll take them out my boys will show them how to fish super fun but it pays dividends you you do it and maybe someday somebody can help you out and you know how i am with karma guys you know how i'm with karma so we excited the trailer's gonna be fixed yep. yeah. disaster pretty much avoided if this trailer works because we were gonna to leave today anyways. Fishing's so bad, we're just gonna fish as long as we can. So we're gonna go out and get this, It'll be about an hour, we'll come back, hit the outgoing tide. We're also just gonna fish in North Carolina, so it's not like the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, but at least we'll get to North Carolina now. That's right, and it's hot, African hot. All right, so we're over here at Hercules Fence, and I told you, Phil made a connection with Bob to get this thing hooked up for us. Man, Jude had it done pretty much by noon. By noon. Bob and Vince. And Vince. And Vince. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say your name wrong because I was like, wait, yeah. and Vince. So yeah, uh, Bob and Vince put the put the time in on this one, and uh, yeah, even fixed my front uh, V ramp on there. This thing was beat up pretty bad. So much love to these guys because man. The Rone boys would not be down in North Carolina this week if it wasn't for them. So, guys, we appreciate it so much. All right, in true fashion, got everything taken care of with this because we have people that surround us, that care and love for us, and show love for us. But hey, I get back out here, I'm like, all right, we're gonna load this trailer back on. I forgot I brought it with the trailer lock because he's like, just leave the trailer lock. As usual, something goes awry. What do you think went awry, guys? I don't have the key because I left it in the boat back at the marina, which is 30 minutes away. So we're gonna cut the lock off, get this thing loaded up, 
It's always something. Always something. So can... Now we'll get a new lock too. We'll just add that on there for another 50 bucks. Okay. Whatever. Bob's got it though. He's got all the tools here at the shop. Clearly we're all right. All right, so also we can't help but thank the people here at Belle Isle Marina. Awesome Marina, great people. And that's what it's all about, great people. But they did the, you know, they made accommodations for us. Guys came in from the beginning and right away, you can see it's a pretty cool little operation. They got the beach over there. So you got stuff, you got Styles right there. You all saw Styles last night. Everybody over here is legit, guys. If you're in Virginia Beach and you need something, come down to this marina, check them out. All right, so round two, we're gonna try this again. We're back from picking the trailer up. Got that all taken care of. And we're gonna go back out. We're going to a place called, well, we're going to a place out there where we think there's fish. How about that? Last fish of the day. What? Toadfish. Oh, ribbon fish, you got a ribbon. Oh my God. You got a ribbon. It's time, it's time to get the ribbons in the water. These guys are nasty. Look at these things. Look at these dudes. Stay, stay Skip. He's so small, I can't even cut him up. are done for the day it is hot out there all right the plan is to head down to my parents house which is in sunset beach north carolina about an hour south of wilmington and tomorrow morning we'll get up and head to wilmington for our, wilmington for our first time fishing in wilmington terrible luck here in virginia beach two days of pretty much nothing some sea bass we did catch some bluefish things like that but just a bunch of stuff we weren't fishing for and the boys had fun so it's all right they're out they're out cleaning up the boat really quick and uh, we're gonna head south so appreciate you hanging out for the ride along with us and hopefully we'll get in some fish in Wilmington stay tuned welcome back guys new day new city Wilmington North Carolina the boys and I are heading out of Wilmington first we're here at Intercoastal Angler we've got to get some Barracuda rigs get some ice see what they got for bait that's the first thing on our trip in Wilmington so Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the video. All right, come on. All right, so this is our first time down at Wilmington. We've been at my parents' house all the time. We've never come to Wilmington to fish, so we're doing it. Like I said, the boys want to hit Barracuda inshore. And so we're going to get some little tube, tube jigs, I think, and see if they got any pre-made rigs. We'll see what they got. Sweet store here, though. If you guys are in Wilmington, you got to come check this one out. This is pretty nice. All right, of course, like usual, nothing goes as planned. So we're sitting here. We got to this marina here, which is the only public boat launch within 30 miles. And uh, there's no parking spots, which I guess you get all around the country during the summer on weekends. But this sucks. There's nowhere to put the boats. Trailer lot's completely full. So we're gonna, we got our boat in. We're going to wait, see if somebody comes out. We'll give it a good 35, 45 minutes. We'll hang out, have some coldies have some Gatorades and waters in the boat, and hey, we'll just kind of stick it out. All right, so that wasn't bad. Was that bad? No. Yeah? No. Yeah, no. That's the way it goes in this no. family. Can't agree on anything, even waiting times. We're off. We're going to head out the waterways of Wilmington, head south to where I think it's the Waynesboro Jetty, and then out to this, what was the name of that place he said to go to? Some Bob ship, Duke. some shipwreck. We'll find it. We'll find it. <laughs> Did 
He's right here. Look at him. Dude, I'll net that sucker in a second. Oh, oh net, net. Get the net. Hold it here. Hold this. Hold this. Watch the trolling motor, please. I can't help the fish over here. It's a big one. It's one of the big He's got his cuda. I got both. Netters. Make sure, make sure he can take Help that drag. It's not too tight. It'll, it'll work. Hold on. Hold on. Now, it's loose. It's loose. Okay. It's loose. Put him over here. We got catch and cook. Hey, you might need to go around that trolling motor on the front. Just watch him. Chase, that might. We might have to pull this in. Remember, keep keep him down, right? Let him keep keep the rod tip down. Don't pull up. Just reel. Use the reel. There you go. Well, let him run. Let him run. Let him run. Now we're <laughs> This is nuts. Crap. This thing is totally crap. Good thing you got that big rod. Dude, he hammered that. Did he come up and hit it on the top? Yes. Right here. Came up, yeah. Where's my uh, phone? I'm gonna dip that sucker in the water. Oh, no. Did you lose him? I lost him, dude. Oh, he snapped it off. We got another one. <laughs> we'll get another one. That's, he he could have gotten you down in the structure too and just ripped it off the structure. We could put a longer uh, mono leader on it. Yeah. All right. Well, that was our first experience with a big cuda. We yeah. a smaller one. He tried to get it. He tried to get it. What's up, guys? All right, man. We are back in at the jetty. You saw. You saw Brooks had um, had that cuda on. And um, I just had a sheep set on. We're, yeah, we're back in at the jetty. We came in and tried to get some sheep and what else? Whatever else we could find in here. The cudas were right below the boat. I mean, I couldn't get much footage of them underneath the water. But that cuda was cool. You saw it diving, man. That was, he said it was probably a three foot, four foot cuda. Cause he saw it when it hit. What a cool experience though, to see that thing really running. The power of those things. The wind's just picked up. I don't know if you can see out there. The wind's picked up from the south and just not conducive to fishing out there. I mean, the trolling motor's coming up out of the water and you know that's how we stay on our rocks. We don't like to sit there and anchor. We'd have been beat up if we were anchored. So we're back in here. We'll see what we can get on. Chase is getting used to the bait caster here, so he's working his thumb. It's a great way to teach kids how to use the bait caster. It's a great way for the kids to learn the bait caster, especially on like rock structures and things like this, where you know you pin fish down there or bait fish that we can use. There he is. Got another one. B might have got his first sheep. Chase, he didn't have to quit. Hit the net, Chase. It's all right. Keep him down. Keep him down. Good. Just, just let him. And he, he gives it to you. Let him take it. Let him take it. If he gives it to you, good. Let him take it. Let him take it. Let him take it. That could be a drum. That could be a drum the way it's running. That's a drum. That's a big drum. Okay, let him take it. Let him take it. Take it from. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Look at that thing, guys. Look at that thing, dudes. Is it a polio? No, it's a drum. It's a redfish. Oh, Look at that. Get back Look here. at that. Get over here. Okay, don't, don't hoist them. Don't hoist them. Ooh. Keep them low. Keep them low. I thought it was a rock. That's right. Keep them low. Hey, he gives it to you. Take it. Otherwise, slot. let it's him a run. Slot. It's a it's a hey, no, no, wait. Don't, don't try to. Okay, right. No, chill, please. chill, chill, chill. He'll bring them to you. Right Put your net in the water. Put your net in the water. Head first. Yes, boys. Yes, boys. Let's go. It's a slotty. Let's go. We got nothing all day for three days. Nothing for three days. And look what he just got. I thought it was 
a freaking rock. Dude, way to go, son. Chase, good netting, buddy. Yeah. It's a good, it's a slotty, too. Hold him up, man. Slotty, boy. Here's your, here's your camera right there, son. Boys, girls, and YouTubers, we all got a big, oh my God, let's go. I thought it was a rock, didn't you? Yeah. All right, they're right. moving through. We're going to get back on them. Wow, B, that is awesome. Yeah! Fishy. Fishy Look at that beautiful. Hey, Give me a measurement fishy. on him. He's a slot. Watch out, Chase. Watch out, Bubba. Look at that, guys. Chong's jig heads right there. Oh, Chong's jig heads. Oh, Chong jig head. With the well, corner I'm, of the mouth. I'm going to sit him down. Okay. I don't. Don't drop it. Chong's jig head right there. On the red. Too. Red. That's southern filet mignon right there, y'all. Slot it. Go ahead and give me a give me a measurement, please. We have struggled for three days, guys, and we got we finally got a red. Oh, is that our bag over there? We gotta get that bag. Yeah, it's 28. 27. 27. Let's see what slot is here. Let's see what slot is. 27 inch redfish. Awesome. Good way to go, buddy. Alright, dudes. Sun's going down. Sun's going down. Wilmington Brooks is locked in on a huge rock a rock literally a rock hey it's it's amazing that you know we started this off with almost a first drop brooks got that barracuda he lost it but then you saw the red fish at the end it's amazing one fish can turn a trip around because it's been a rough three days and that was an awesome fish oh you're getting on Oh, you wanna get on? He said, what's up, dude? What's going on? I'll make you famous. I'll make you famous, bro. Oh, you wanna say hey? What's up? What's up? What's your name? What's your name, huh? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so clearly rough day fishing, like usual, but hey, it's all fun. These boys get to come out and do things that people don't get to do. So super excited to have them a part of this trip and it's all good. Who put a parking meter out here? <laughs> Don't climb, oh you'll mess it up. Yeah. Hey, muchos gracias to Doug and Paige right there. Great little family from Wilmington. Told us about some cool spots. Thank you to them right there. Awesome people. And this is what it's all about. Traveling around, hanging out, meeting new people. Love it, love it.